for now I'm focused on writing my articles but soon I really really want to start speaking publicly in front of a crowd of people about anything in technology any trending topics okay. and like I've mentioned before I want to create my own game maybe start my own company in technology to solve problems in the future about Seeing anything in technology how smart you are I'm pretty sure that is that dream is not too far away. I've written five articles and my first one was released on the 5th of October. To be honest, my role model is my father. If it wasn't for my father, I would have no interest in technology at all. I would have been like any other kid. Far, I'm talking to you and I'm really in awe of the way you speak. You have Thank such you. a commanding voice. You have such beautiful vocabulary. It's, it's honestly, in my opinion, you are, I've seen you as the only Omani who, 15 years old, <laughs> is writing about technology and that too in English. It's it's such a uh, proud moment for Oman. Yeah. Incidentally, guys, Hilal's father is our very own Tariq al -Barwani. So you guys know what an amazing person he is and how into technology he is. So obviously, this is the product of Mr. Tariq. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the Taz Morning Show. Today we have with us a young and budding columnist. Please welcome Hilal Tariq al -Barwani. Hilal, thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. It's, it's a pleasure to have you here. Now, please tell me, how did you begin writing columns? And, you know, we had a chat before this, yes. and I see that your English is absolutely impeccable. Thank you very much. So tell me how you, tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into writing columns. Well, basically, my name is Hilal Barwani. I'm 15 years old, and I've studied in the International School of Shifat for about 11 years now. I recently moved to Ahmed bin Majid to finish my education. Okay. My marks in English, especially in composition, are amazing. I've gotten 10 out of 10 in almost every exam. Wow, touch wood. Thank you. And I have a huge interest in technology. Okay. So I said, why not start writing articles to educate the people of Amman about this enormous world of technology and what's happening every day? Correct, correct. Now, you say you write about technology. That's your specialty, right? Yes. When did you get the interest to write about technology? Well, it all started when my father taught me how to code back in fifth grade. Wow. I started with Python. <laughs> you started coding in grade five? Yeah, I started like little by little and I started Brother. getting better at it. <laughs> After that, I started researching a lot about technology, about AI, mm -hmm. cryptocurrency and all of these things. And I started gaming, which is also part of technology. Correct. It is. And yeah, I got inspired once to create my own game which is something I'm planning on doing in the future. Okay, okay. So you say that you're going to... What exactly? What's your plan for the future? For now, I'm focused on writing my articles. But soon, I really, really want to start speaking publicly in front of a crowd of people about anything in technology, any trending topics. Okay. And like I've mentioned before, I want to create my own game, maybe start my own company in technology to solve problems in the future about Seeing anything in technology. how smart you are, I'm pretty sure that is that dream is not too far away. Inshallah, hopefully. I hope it happens. Yes, yes. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about your columns. How exactly, what is, what are some of the steps? You know, if you have to give, if you have to advise someone else, someone your age to get into writing columns, how would the person go about it? They have to find a relevant and trending topic to talk about. That's okay. very important. Anything anyone's talking about, like in the world today, mm -hmm. Write about it. Research about it. Get factual information. Because if your information is false, obviously, it's your article will not have any relevance where at do all. You, where do you generally get your information from? Well, it's usually... Why I'm just scrolling around social media and I find okay. loads of technology-related posts because the algorithm in social media right now is whatever you search, you're going to get whatever. Yes, yes. You know, the same topic. So convenient. So, yeah, as soon as I find something I like and I think the other people would like, I research about it online get my information and there's also some information I have that I already know, mm -hmm. generalize them all and put them in my article. Mm -hmm. However, what makes my articles unique, mm -hmm. like people would say, why would they want to read my articles and just go online and read any article? Mm -hmm. I like to localize mine and give examples happening in Oman or examples I had myself. So what, yeah. what are some of the, you know, I've seen some of your articles. Yes. They're absolutely great. And you know, a lot of this, I even, I have no idea about like from a cryptocurrency and virtual reality or I'm not really a tech person, so <laughs> yeah. it just goes above my head. But where do you see the relevance? Like what, tell me some of the articles that you've written that is relevant to Oman's market. For example, you have um, the AI, artificial intelligence article. I've related it to McDonald's. Remember how in the old days you used to go to the counter and order with a human? 
Yes. However, now when you go, you, you see touch screens, yeah. Oh, yes. And correct, the computer correct. computer systems there. Jobs are being lost because of AI, and you never know when the AI might take over many jobs that yeah. don't require thinking. It's quite scary to think about. Yeah. It. And another article that's coming soon is about electric cars. I mentioned yeah. about how, you know, how the fuel petrol cars release toxic gas. Mm -hmm. I mentioned about how Amman could make benefits for people who own the electric cars. That's happening in New Zealand right now. Mm -hmm. For example, if someone owns an electric car, they have free parking tolls, no tax on Correct. purchasing the car, many benefits. So if that happened in Oman, imagine how many people would want to buy you know, an electric car. I actually think Oman, I'm not sure if I might be wrong, but I think Oman does have an electric car. It's not being mass produced. I think it's called Maze, if I'm not wrong. I've never heard of it before. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw it in one of I these think. expos. But I think Oman has, you know, with young minds like you. Yeah. And uh, I think Oman has a bright future when it comes to the, you know, electric car. I agree. Side. It would be amazing for them to make it. Absolutely. It would encourage so many Omanis to purchase Correct. an electric car. And it's so car. good to see... You know, a 15 year old yeah. cares so much about, you know, sustainability. You know, it's not like, because back in the day, we didn't really care much about sustainable living as yeah. such. You know, now people are, you know, they, they think talking about electric cars, they're talking about uh, say no to plastic, and we have like these plastic cleanups, beach cleanups. Of course, yeah, because our future is in hand. If we Correct. don't care about the environment, what's going to happen in the future? Correct. Everything's going to be messed up, to be honest. Correct. Do you know, so far, I'm talking to you, and I'm really in awe of the way you speak. You have Thank such you. a commanding voice. You have such beautiful vocabulary. It's, it's, and you know, you are one of the, honestly, in my opinion, you are, I've seen you as the only Omani who, 15 years old, <laughs> is writing about technology and that too in English. It's, it's such a, a proud moment for Oman. Thank you and so I think much, a lot yeah. of kids have so much to learn from you. I want them to learn from me because I don't want kids to just focus on school-related topics. Correct. It's amazing for a student to branch out, get new hobbies, and like to stand out basically in the very community. Very correct. Very correct. Which is the, what I'm trying to do right now. You're you're doing a great job. Thank you very you're much. Doing a great job. Now tell me, Hilal, what what motivated you, and who was your inspiration? Do you have a role model that you know inspired you to get into? To be honest, my role model is my father. If it wasn't for my father, I would have no interest in technology at all. I would have been like any other kid right now. But alhamdulillah, yani, for having a father like mine, mm -hmm. he inspired me a lot to get into technology, yeah. to have this interest and to stand out basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, yeah. Incidentally, guys, Hilal's father <laughs> is our very own Tariq Al Barwani. So you guys know what an amazing person he is and how into technology he is. So. Obviously, this is the product of Mr. Tarek. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I'm proud to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Now, Hilal, can you tell me a little bit more? You say you write about technology. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about the articles that you've written so far? Well, so far I've written five articles, and my first one was released on the 5th of October. Okay. One of my favorite articles was the article about gaming PCs versus consoles. I had this conversation actually with one of my friends, okay. which inspired me to write it. Because many, many, many kids my age have this question. Mm -hmm. So, gaming computers, if you really, really, really depend on graphics, then you should obviously go for it. However, it's uh, very pricey. Mm -hmm. Almost every five to seven years, you need to update it, and each component costs about like more than 100 riyals. Yeah. It's really expensive. Gaming consoles, however, you have PlayStation, you have Xbox, you have Nintendo. You buy it once and you're okay. It will last for about 15, 10 years. And yeah, I compared that. There's also, I talked about cryptocurrency, which is a digital currency. And the most famous one that almost everyone knows now is Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Yes. Bitcoin, there's ADA, Litecoin, all of these other uh, under Bitcoin. Yeah. 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 I've also spoken about virtual reality, hence its name, virtual reality. You're not in an actual reality yeah. where you can get to a game like as if you're really there. I've also spoken about artificial intelligence, artificial, man-made and intelligence. We made uh, computers act as if they're humans. And I've also spoken about how it could potentially take so many jobs that don't require a lot of thinking. Yeah. And yeah. Quite alarming. I've also spoken about the importance of code, which basically explains how code, yani, in every app you have, there's always a background to it, an algorithm. Mm -hmm. And that background is the code, the main part of the app. These are yeah. some quite... Uh Intense topics, you know, when I was 15, I was talking about probably 
I don't know, Messi and Barbies and <laughs> it's fashion, all my interest. Paris Hilton, I don't know what. But it's it's super it's it's just mind blowing to see someone your age or even you know, even if I would say the same thing for a twenty year old because the topics you're talking about are so yeah. relevant in this day and age. So thank, you, very much. thank yeah. you for that and I hope people take inspiration from you. I really hope they do. So now uh Hila lastly <coughs> can you um do you have any words of wisdom or any advice for kids your age or honestly i think even i can learn so much from you so any advice for all of us to be honest like i've mentioned before my main advice to every person i've spoken to that asked me for any advice you need to stand out in this community because everyone's going to end up the same if you don't have something special with you Correct. any hobby any sport you play anything you have to stand out in it so people look at you differently yeah, yeah. And that's, you'd be a special lovely, person. Lovely, lovely advice. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm I'm still shook at a 15-year-old who speaks, who's so well-spoken, you know. It's such a... You should come by more often. Just not for the interview. Let's just have a talk. I don't mind. Anytime. Just let me know. Thank you so much for being here, Hilal. Thank you for inviting me. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank and you. for anyone who wants to contact me, my email is hilal at tariq.net and my number is 9430030. I would love for anyone to give me any feedbacks either negative or positive, I don't mind. I want to look forward to be better with these feedbacks. Lovely. And I'm also working on my own social media platform on Instagram, so I can update everyone on my articles and anything concerning technology. You so, heard yeah. it from the best. Any advice, any comments you have, please do contact Hilal. Yes. Thank you so much for inviting me. Absolute I love pleasure. this opportunity. Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for watching the Taz Morning Show. Follow the Arabian Stories for the latest updates.